Now here we are, 57 years after King's historic speech. And as we examine the landscape of current culture, we have the modern day social justice movement. At the forefront of this movement are three women, Alicia Garza, Patrice Colors, and Opal Tometi. They're leading the charge for the organization Black Lives Matter. And this new approach to social justice began with a jury verdict in the case of Trayvon Martin. By way of memory, on July 13, 2013, after hearing all the evidence in the Trayvon Martin case, the six-woman jury, which included one minority, would find George Zimmerman not guilty. Now, this verdict delivered despite being given at the last minute the option of three choices. The jury had the option of three choices. Number one, they could find Zimmerman guilty of second-degree murder. Number two, they could find him guilty of the lesser charge of manslaughter. Or three, they could find him not guilty. They, of course, chose not guilty. The case had then therefore been adjudicated. The matter had been closed. But that was insufficient for those who are part of Black Lives Matter. This, this movement, this modern day movement began at that point. But next in line to follow was the decision of the Michael Brown case. Prior to the investigation of the Michael Brown case, the hands up, don't shoot narrative had swept the country. Now, again, this is a narrative that sweeps the country prior to any investigation having taken place. This hands up, don't shoot narrative was, was parroted by entertainers and athletes, all promoting the narrative. Brown's case, however, would be investigated by the Obama administration's Department of Justice head, Eric Holder. In the case of Michael Brown, Obama's DOJ, and, and again, this is a reminder, Obama's DOJ could not find sufficient evidence to charge the officers of wrongdoing in the Brown shooting. Now, now, I want to be clear about the situation here. Th those who are part of Black Lives Matter argue that the, that the halls of justice are, are whitewashed. They're to the advantage of those whites and not blacks. But here's what we have. Let's be clear about this. We had a black president, a black attorney general, a black district attorney, and they could not find the hands up, don't shoot narrative to be accurate, nor was there enough evidence to, to the prosecution to prosecute the officer involved in the death of Michael Brown. After seven months of investigating, Attorney General Eric Holder said the following in a statement regarding the issue, quote, this morning, the Justice Department announced the conclusion of our investigation and released an 87 page report documenting our findings and conclusions that the facts do not support the filing of criminal charges against Officer Darren Wilson in the case. Michael Brown's death, though a tragedy, did not involve prosecutable conduct on the part of Officer Wilson, end quote.